what's up everybody on Facebook and YouTube. This is Mike Lovelace with Lovey's Fat Life. And today we got a question that was a hot topic three or four months ago. And it concerns Carnival and probably many of the other cruise lines, but it was about the subject of straws. Yes, straws. What kind of straws is your favorite? Hey, I get it, we're trying to be green, we're trying to save the earth, but plastic straws, metal straws, silicone straws, edible straws. We're gonna give you our opinion on the four we tried out. We haven't tried the paper straws. So hit the like, subscribe, notify bell, and then give us some comments if you tried the paper straws. We haven't tried those, but we're gonna give you our opinion on the, on the, on the four we did try. Thank you. Hey, what's up, YouTube, Facebook? This is Mike Lovelace with Lovey's Fat Life, and this is my buddy right here. Actually, it's my son, Anthony Lovelace. Say hey, Anthony. Hello. Hey, so we're going to talk about straws. And uh, last November, we went on the Carnival Lation, and it was the first time that they quit giving out straws as far as with your regular drinks. Now, if you bought these souvenir cups, every one of these comes with the plastic straws in them. So they, even though they said they're doing away with the plastic straws, these are plastic, they're not silicone as they, they had mentioned. Um, but you know, of course, you're not, most of the time you're not gonna throw those away, you're gonna reuse them anyway. So um, the, one of our, our ideas on this tri last trip was we wanna start collecting these. So we bought these four drinks right here. This is actually the very first one that Anthony got. He got him a root beer on the cruise. And we said, hey, we wanna try out, they didn't have a straw for it. No, they couldn't find a straw, a souvenir straw that went with this. So we asked, you know, hey, can we try the edible straw? So we were at the bar, it was on embarkation day, and they said the lady was really nice, they had great bartenders there, and she said, sure. So she gave Anthony an edible straw, and he put it down in this cup, and Anthony, what was your opinion on the edible straw? My opinion is I did not like it at all. You didn't like it? Yeah, um, one thing about the edible straws, a lot of people complain about, they have different flavors. I'll show a picture up here of the different flavors they have. But after a while, when you're sitting there at that bar, and we were eating um, from the Blue Iguana as well at the bar because it's so full in the, in the dining area, was after a while the edible straws get soggy and they start limping. And it, in all honesty, they're kind of nasty. So Anthony didn't like that edible straw, so we, we just took the top off of here and he drank it straight out of here. Um, but these, these straws that they give you are fine. Again, they're plastic. Most people are gonna keep those anyway. I don't know what they went to since then. Uh, this was in November of 2019 that we did get these plastic straws. Now, one other thing is, is I'm a big fan of the tumblers. So I bought this one. This is, I think, an Ozark or Arctic, whatever the Walmart brand is. And um, so on these particular cups, um, I ordered these stainless steel straws that come with it. And I'm a big fan of these on cruise ships. I mean, they'll hold two large cups of coffee. You can get drinks and pour in here, fill it up with ice. They last all day long. You take Toledo deck, you take it around with you. Um, I'm not saying to condone this, but if you have drinks in your room and you spike it a little bit, you can carry it around, nobody knows it. Not that I've ever done that, but that is an option. These are great. We always take a couple of these with us. This is a cheap knockoff Yeti brand at Walmart and it does just as good. Um, excellent cup, um, but you can check those out. Go to your local Walmart, buy one of those. But I'll put a link to these as well. These are stainless steel straws that actually fit this hole and go inside. That's one thing if you're gonna buy a straw is to make sure it fits in that opening right here. So uh, I purchased these, that was one review. It had really good reviews and it does fit inside of here. And as you can see, when you put this on here, man, it's perfect. Now the only thing with the stainless steel straws, you have to be careful that you don't bite down on it. Some people have the habit of biting on the ends of the straws. That's not a, an issue with me. So I'm a big fan of the stainless steel straws, especially going with these cups. It's a perfect, you know, you, you, when you go on, uh, put it in your, in your backpack or in your luggage, man, I feel stuff inside of here too, just to, to maximize space inside your suitcase or your luggage bag, you put socks down here, whatever you want to put inside of here. Um, now you can also like you can go to here locally in North Carolina food line food fair um, Harris Teeter any of those places but I got a hundred and fifty plastic straws that you can buy for a dollar and take with you uh, just you know we're trying to keep the earth green uh, just take them back with you and throw them away at home 
recycle them. Um, a lot of people are anti-straws, and I get that. We're trying to keep the earth green. Uh, nobody talks about all the smoke rolling out of the, the cruise ships, out of the whale's tail. Uh, they want to talk about plastic straws, but I, I get that, and I'm all for that. So I understand what Carnival and all the other cruise lines are trying to do, and most all of them have banned them at this point. So these are other options you can do. I don't know what they're going to do going forward with these. If, if you know what they're doing now, go ahead and comment on the on the below and say, hey, what are they doing now when you get the pineapple, whale's tail, the fish, or the puffer fish? What are they adding? What are they giving you now? Is it still plastic or not? I mean, I know right now we're not cruising at all, but since November, if you went on a cruise in January, February, March, and you bought a souvenir cup, what did they give you? Um, the other one in the video at the right after this clip is uh, my stepdad, Billy Sparks. He purchased some silicone straws off of Amazon that were really cheap. I think he got two of them for around five bucks, a little under five bucks. They are big fans of those. They took them on their cruise uh, recently, and they really like those. So uh, check out as well. So you have several options. I've even heard there's paper straws. If you've tried a paper straw, let us know what you thought about that. Um, we have not tried that, but um, again, so if you're trying to be green, and you're trying to um, not use the plastic straws because they're not going to give you these anymore. Do you go with a stainless steel straw? Do you go with the silicone? You can buy your own. It's probably cheaper. Carnival sells them. I'm sure the other cruise line sells them as well. But these are just some examples that we have. Keep watching and check out these silicone straws that Billy gives a review on. They look, they work great too. Billy spe speaks high of those, so check those out as well. Thank you. Hey YouTube, this is Billy Sparks doing a review on silicon straws for Lovey's Fat Life. Let me give you some backstory. In late 2019, Carnival started phasing out plastic straws to cut down on plastic waste. Carnival had basically three choices, paper, sugar, or stainless. They went to sugar on the ships, and I've seen a few videos that in some of the Carnival specific ports they're using paper straws. In February 2020, my wife and I cruised on the Carnival Breeze and we got to experience the sugar straws. They leave a lot to be desired. As you use the sugar straws, they get wet, they get sticky, your fingers get all sticky, and they start to dissolve. With the thicker drinks, think of like a frozen daiquiri or a margarita, they start to collapse even faster. Looking at most of the reusable straws on the market, they usually come in a full length, so it makes it harder to carry around. On one of the Journey with the Gingers videos, I saw them using a flex, a foldable flexible silicone straw. So I searched on Amazon and found some for less than five dollars for two. As you can see here, here's what you get. They come in these plastic cases with a carabiner style hook so you can hook it onto yourself. The, the cases themselves have a magnetic closure so you never have to worry about a catch breaking. Let's take the straw out of the container. This one, well both of them, are right at nine and three quarters of an inch long. Um, also in the container is this flexible metal cleaning rod, for lack of a better term. We'll talk about that more later. So let's look at it in a cup to see how it works. This is the largest Yeti cup that I've got, and I think this is the largest one that Yeti makes. As you can see, it fits fine. Um, you'll notice there are flexible joints, but it is reinforced more where your teeth would go. It doesn't matter which, which end goes in a drink. Um, now let's talk about the cleaning. This is important. For anyone who's ever used a Camelback and forgot to clean out the tube, you know what I mean. Mildew will form in them after several days or weeks. Just hot water, take the straw, the stopper, pulls it straight through, and pops it right back out. To put them back, fold at the indentations, put them back in the container, do the same thing with the little cleaning thing. One word of, of note and one of the outtakes. I pushed this down too far. You cannot get it back out. Now, we've talked about them. How do they do? Well, while we've been in quarantine, me and my wife have had a chance to try these. They work great. If you want a good reusable straw that is yours so you know where it's been, we highly recommend this. Um, so that is all. Thank you for watching. Please hit like, subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notifications whenever great videos about travel and food come out. Thank you.